This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE2301 statics. We're looking at a truss method of joints to solve for member forces problem. We've got a simple two triangle truss, A, B, C, D, with loads here and here, five kips and ten kips. The geometry is noted three foot and three foot horizontal, three foot and four foot in the vertical. Try to solve for all member forces. The steps on uh, solving a method of, method of joints truss is to first do a free body diagram of the entire truss, treat it as a rigid body, and solve for the reactions. Now, here I've done it up here. Take some moments about D to solve for AX. I'm not going to repeat all the math to you, but there's the numbers 5 kips times 3 feet, 10 kips times 3 feet. A Y A X that should be times seven feet gives me that reaction. A X is negative six point four two nine. That means it's opposite of what I assumed, which is positive to the right, so it means it's to the left. Similarly, sum of forces in the X direction gives me negative three point five seven one for DX, which is the opposite of what I assume. So I've corrected everything in green. And everything turns out to be the opposite of what I assumed. Sum of forces in the Y is real simple. DY is negative 5 kips, therefore 5 kips down. Step 2 was to find a joint with two unknowns. Draw a free body diagram of it. Assume member geometry, assume tension for every member. Member geometry, remember because it's two force members in a truss, gives me the components of the forces. Then do the equilibrium equations, and all I've got is sum of forces. So I first go to joint A. It has two unknowns, the forces in AB and AC. Here I've drawn my free body diagram. Show my member forces in blue and their geometry. Three, four, they're both 3, 4, 5 angles. Then I show their components in red. Makes it easier for me to see. And I can do sum of forces in the y direction to show that the force in AB has got to be the negative of the force in AC. So one of them's tension, one of them's compression. I go to sum of forces in the x direction and do the math, and I get that uh, positive three fifths FAC. Substituting that in for FAB, the negative FAC, work out the math works out to be this so that FAC is 5.357, a positive number, which means it's tension. So FAC is tension, therefore FAB is the negative of that, or the compression. So there's the answers to FAB and FAC. I can kind of look at the joint and I can see I've got a force from the reaction to the left. That's going to put AC in tension and AB in compression kind of experience can kind of teach you that. The steps of the method of joints is to then find another joint. It has two unknowns. Repeat kind of back up there. So I'd go over down to joint C and here's the free body of joint C with the known applied force of 10 kips. The force I know now FAC of 5.357. It is tension in AC. So I've put it on there and put its components, its three, four, five components. Then the unknown FBC and the unknown FCD. I first do a sum of forces in the y direction calculation. I've got this positive and negative because of the assumption of FCD and its component is just divided by the square root of two. So FCD works out to be 6.06 .06, tension positive. Then I do sum of forces in the x direction, put in the numbers the unknown FBC. Here's the knowns, one that I took from the other problem, other free body, and then this one I just solved for, 6.061 divided by square root of 2. So FBC works out to be 2.5 positive, which means it's also tension. So last I need to solve for this one last member, so I can go down to joint B. I only have one unknown at this point. 
because I have the applied five kips up and I have from FAB it was in compression so I show it pointing that force pointing at the joint 5.357 break it up into its components I've got the force I just got from FBC it's tension so it's pulling away from the joint 2.5 and then the unknown FBD which I assume in tension which is what my procedure tells me to do show its components and I can then solve for sum of forces in the Y. I can solve for this two ways sum of forces in the Y and figure it this way the 5 up applied and the negative 4.286 from the Y component of FAB it works out to be 1.01 .01 kips tension positive so it's tension then the beauty of these trust problems is often you can you can check your answers already here at this joint I can check with the sum of forces in the X calculation if I uh, know from the forces in the Y calculation that I got 1.01 .01, just easy to draw out all the components in the X I've got negative 3.214 from FAB 2.5 from FBC positive and positive because I determined that it was tension so it's in that direction that checks out those numbers add up to zero I even have another way of checking it I can go down to joint D which I could have started at because it only had it only had two unknowns also because I'd solve for the reaction forces which I've shown in black here and I can check it at the sum of forces in the X direction I know all these member forces now they're all both tension FBD and FCD just do the math sum of forces in the X checks out is equal to zero sum of forces in the Y checks out is equal to zero finally I show all my results on a uh, overall picture of the truss and I can kinda see patterns here I see the really what's happening here is the 10 kips applied here horizontally is causing tension to be in these members AC and CD so I, I see that force pulling the truss to the right these forces resisting it with tension I've also got um, let's see did I write that FCD FBC that is not compression that is tension that should be a T right there let me correct that so I've really got a tension force here so this 10 kips is putting everything on this right side in tension it's transferring it over here to the left side and down up to the uh, support at A down to the support at D the 5 kips applied up here has no place to go but down here to the support at D negative 5 and so that's a good thing about the show your results and kind of look at the big picture and see if it all makes sense.